get used to it. Man, is it nimble. So here it is, an unboxing video of the InMotion V11. I ordered this back in July. I placed a pre-order for the second batch. It is now October 12th, and I just received my InMotion V11. So I can't tell you how anxious I've been waiting for this thing. It's literally why I started the YouTube channels, because I couldn't wait anymore. And here it is, it's finally here. Apparently the cat is excited too. Isn't it awesome, Bella? Smell it. Do you smell that? That new wheel smell. All right, I literally can't wait. Let's go. Let's let's open this bad boy. Yuko, welcome to the future. So this is nice. This is just like a little uh, information on the wheel. You know, register your ride, check your tires, safety information, technical support, learning to ride battery care. So just some basic stuff. That's nice of Yuko to include. I know some of this stuff is, uh, oh look, business cards. I don't know why all the wheels seem to come with business cards. I've seen that before in other people's unboxings. I guess the company is just think we'll hand them out. I don't know, one of my friends does, so I guess it works. Look, it's the black box inside the box. The beautiful in motion box that everyone's looking at. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful. Got these nice little plastic handles in there, that's nice. Help you lift it up. Some QR codes, I don't know what those are for. All right. So here we have it, the InMotion V11. charger. Now, part of my batch 2 pre-order with Yuko uh, came with a second charger, which I don't see. Hopefully that's coming separately. But I got my charger, so that's good. Charger cable. And it came with a nice little suspension pump and a handy little bag of tools. Got a couple of regular wrenches, a couple of Allen wrenches, and a valve extender. So it's got the orange in motion. This is awesome. <laughs> Here it is, the in motion V11, baby. Real, in person, it's live. Didn't think it would ever get here. Here it is.
Uh, Kickstand's not great on rug, apparently. It's kind of a, a, a thick rug. So it's not very stable. Oh yeah, sits much better on the wood. Sits nicely on the wood. But there it is. The Inmotion V11, it's here. Oh, look at that. Look at that suspension. Look at it go up and down. Wow. You can really feel it. That's awesome. That is so cool. Alright, moment of truth. Oh, it's dead. Zero percent bad. All right, before I do anything else, I gotta get this charging. It's gonna take eight hours to fully charge with one charger. Please active your vehicle. Please active your vehicle. Okay, so I just plugged the V11 in and it's showing 80% battery on the bar and it's yelling at me to activate vehicle, activate vehicle. So I'm gonna try and activate the vehicle and see what the battery says. All right, guys, so once I plugged it in to the wall, it actually showed me 70% battery. So I went, I activated it in the app, and boom, she's got a good amount of battery in here. That's the lift handle switch. Oh, I see where it rubs. Oh yeah, look, my, my saddle's already broken. They, they say that's coming on a lot of these units, is these broken saddle. That was expected, and this rubs on it. Ooh, I like how it locks though. That's nice. So look at that. I don't like that though. This little piece comes sliding right off. It's almost oily. Huh. I'm gonna have to secure that better. I didn't like that at all. I could feel it immediately wiggling in my hand. And it's got like an oily substance here. It's sliding right off. I'm definitely gonna have to address that. Sounds good though, looks good. This lift switch, honestly, I can't really get under it. I almost need a fingernail to get underneath it. Um, oh, but you know what? My suspension's not, look at that. If the suspension was puffed up, it would be fine. <laughs> the suspension. All right, well, hey, speaking of suspension, let's fill it up. I gotta, I gotta feel it, I gotta know, I have to know. You know what? I haven't even looked at these bottom valve caps. Oh, I just got the covers. I didn't get the, the cool new design. Dang. I just got regular tire caps like you would get on a bicycle. They have like a brand new design to the cap, which is seated much nicer. I'm definitely going to try and get a set of them. You know, I have to pay for them. It's fine. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the suspension right at 150 pounds in the bottom and 50 pounds in the top. That's kind of what was recommended by somebody. It seems like a nice middle of the road pressure setting. So I'm just gonna start with that and just, we'll make adjustments later. For now, I just wanna see how it feels. I just wanna see what it is. Look at it expand, that's so cool. So that's about 155 pounds. And if you didn't see how I do that, I'm gonna do a video on it, on exactly how to do the tire pressure. I lost zero pressure almost from the valve taking this off. I'll show you how to do that in another video coming up. I'm gonna do a ton of videos on this bad boy, so please subscribe, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of everything I go through with my Inmotion V11. So, subscribe to the channel. And look, here's the little piece of the saddle that broke off, fell out. I gotta say, this plastic is way too hard for that junction point. I can see why it was so brittle and it snapped. I thought this was gonna be a much softer plastic. So, one of the first things you have to do when you get your wheel is set up your suspension system, right? And in order to do that, you gotta fill the top valve of the machine. 
Well, the top valve is behind the saddle piece. And in order to take the saddle piece off, there's two screws at the top and two screws right here. Now, the screws are all hex screws. And they send you two Allen wrenches. But neither Allen wrench fits the saddle. It doesn't fit these ones either. How stupid is that? The first thing you have to do is take apart the machine with Allen wrenches, and they didn't send you an Allen wrench to do it with. Nonsense. Let's go see if I can dig my pair out, I guess. So one thing I just noticed, I got some blue paint in my fingers, and the In Motion logo here, it's completely wiped off all over me. Whatever ink that was never dried. Yeah, both sides. Look at that. All the blue ink came right off. I kind of like it. It looks better now. But I wish I hadn't gotten all over my hands first. suggesting half of the bottom valve and top so I put 150 so that would suggest 75 up here but in motion suggests 50 so I'm just gonna start at 50 we'll do tests on that later geared up and take it for a ride. I can't I can't even do anything else. We gotta take it for a ride. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Main voyage. I haven't actually stepped up on it yet. It does seem a little bit high. Probably take a second to get used to that. I got right up on it, no problem. Yeah, it feels weird. It feels high compared to the V8. It does feel big and stable though. <laughs> it's really delicate, honestly, I like it. The turning is really subtle on it. the turning I gotta get used to it but man is it nimble at all yet. Yeah, I'm getting early beeps here. I don't like that. I gotta turn that off somehow. Come across these bumps here. Okay. Oh, I do like it. Oh, yes. All right, I'm gonna change some stuff in the app and we'll come back. Okay, I made a couple of just real quick adjustments. I turned on the fancier mode and turned up my speed setting. So now it's all the way set up 55. It was limiting me at 25 kilometers an hour. 
So now I've got it set up to 55 and I, it was on off-road pedal mode. I switched to, to commuting to see. And it definitely actually feels different. It feels more like the V8. Maybe I had the V8 in, in commuting mode, I'm not sure. I learned how to go backwards on this now, but it feels like it can hold me, that's for sure. I almost was too far out in front though. <laughs> This thing's a beast. Oh, this is so much nicer to ride on the V8. <laughs> I just feel the power oozing out of this thing. It really does eat up the imperfections. wobble on the turns, I gotta figure out cornering. But I'm still a half mile in, give me a break. Oh, oh I don't even have top battery, this thing is a beast. Super happy. Perfect. No. Love it. Oh, yes. Love it. This thing's awesome. I mean, obviously, I would have loved any upgrade, but I'm loving the suspension right off rip. I can really tell. It just eats up the imperfections. You, I just, the confidence that you have to be able to just hit things. I mean, I got right on this thing. It was, I, I'll, I'll check the app in a minute and see what I actually hit. I don't know, probably 20, mid 20s. That was a nice little ride. And those are my first impressions. That's my unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like the channel. Until next time, guys, ride safe.